Hey guys, how's it going? It's TCG here again. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at the uh, spiked tail predator. So don't go away. So yeah, guys, I hope you're all doing well out there on the uh, the old action figure collecting scene. And uh, I picked this bad boy up a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago. Uh, and basically... I had seen this uh, figure in the past, but, you know, it wasn't high on my list. Uh, but I got a chance to bid on this. Uh, it came loose, but he did come with the packaging. Uh, even the ties are still in it as well. Uh, Spike Tail Predator. Comes with uh, removable mask, shuriken and arm cannon. And, uh, as you can see there, a bit of word, but it's a spike tail predator. And uh, so, but you know what? I'm glad I picked this guy up because the detail on this particular figure is awesome. Uh, I do like his backstory as well. Uh, basically, uh, he, he's with two other predators, uh, the Lost Borg Predator, which I have in the Ultimate series, because this is uh, on the Ultimate Body. Uh, this was released in oh not 100 percent sure because unfortunately there is a sticky label on the back there uh but maybe 2018 maybe is there anything else that i can see there no maybe you can leave in the comments what year this was but again this is on the ultimate body uh also uh, the other predator that he is in line with, or goes around with, I should say, is uh, Laser Shot Predator. Uh, and I have actually just picked that figure up and I'll probably do a review on that because that is another badass figure. Uh, the other one that comes in this series, as you can see on the back, is the Stalker, Glow in the Dark. And the ghost predator i do want the ghost predator but for me it's going for too much at the moment uh or i've not got no money one of the two but i shall get him in the future but getting back on to uh, the spike tail predator as you can see there as he's turning around his dreads are in a like a, a tail uh, the actual uh, barb what's on the end does rotate uh, Obviously, that must be his spiked tail, but the details on this guy are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so if we go in and have a quick look around him. I do love the mask. As you can see there on his back. Now, this particular uh, cannon also fits the hole there, as you can see. And then also can go on his arm, that is articulated. In a few points, it's a really cool item. It comes with the shuriken there, which I've uh, only just found out. You can stick them in there and they look really cool. So you don't lose them. Uh, but again, if you look at the, I love the paint scheme that's on this as well. The goals, uh, you know, really pop on this with the, uh, the copper. And as you can see the tube in there on his mask. It's not actually attached to the mask, it's what's underneath, but I'll show you uh, his face in a sec. As we go down, you can see there on his back, he's got his net launcher. Uh, okay. And really cool paint scheme as well. It's got like a robotic um, a hand there as well. Really good detail. Again, if we go down, there are other videos on this. If you go down there, he's got uh, pistons there on the back, as you can see. They don't move, they're just part of the uh, uh, the look of it. Uh, but again, really cool figure. And, uh, but yeah, I'll uh, take his mask off and we'll see what he looks like with the, uh, with the mask off, so. Pull the mask off. Hopefully it'll keep rotating. This is the mask if you want to look up closely at it. There we 
Pretty cool detail on that as well. Also on the inside. Pretty cool detail. But if we pan in now onto the actual Predator himself and we'll check out his uh, face on it. And it's got one of those like breather masks. Like the City Hunter. And he has tubes that go around the back. But again, this wasn't a figure on my list. Uh, and I'm so glad I picked him up because he's just a cool looking Predator. Uh, with a cool backstory. I think from the comics. Uh, and uh, I think I've already uh, uploaded a, a short on this. I do have a few shorts if you want to check them out. I do update them when uh, I do pick something up. Uh, hopefully then I can make a video later on looking at him in more depth. But again, this is on the ultimate body, really cool. So it's got all the articulation. I'm not going to go through the articulation. If you know about your Necker Predators, you'll know. Um, but really nice item. Love the dreads and how they could go into a spiked tail. And, uh, you know, the head there with the spikes on, really cool. It's like multi-layered, as you can see there. Yeah, a lot of de a lot of uh, workers and detail has gone into this figure, in my opinion. And uh, if you are a predator collector, neck a predator co collector anyway, this guy is well worth it. And uh, really cool. sit back down we'll just uh, watch him rotate there but yeah guys if uh, if you enjoy my content don't forget to hit that like button uh, and hit the subscribe button as well uh, and while you're there hit the uh, notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads uh, I do love collecting. I'm quite addicted to collecting Predator figures. I do have a, a figure coming this week. And it is another quarter scale. It's one I've been after for a while. And uh, I'm definitely going to do a video on that. So keep your eyes peeled. Uh, but anyway, this has been TCG. The trash compactor guy. Taking a close look at the uh, spike tail Predator. Again, if you uh, can remember the year that this came out, leave me a comment in the comment section. Uh, I don't know everything about Predators. I'm just like you. Uh, I go on uh, YouTube, check out other people's videos. And, uh, but yeah, really cool figure. Let's do some more close-ups there. Yeah, definitely, especially love his paint scheme. Quite unique. Well, I definitely recommend this figure. And uh, really, I should get—I should have got the other figures out. The Lost Predator from the uh, uh, Lost Tribe, the Borg Predator, and. What was the other one? The other one was Laser Shot. Another cool figure, which is Kenner inspired. Uh, uh, even this one's Kenner inspired, I think. Yeah, this is Kenner inspired, I should say. Uh, but I'm sure he's got a backstory in the comics. But these uh, Kenner tributes, really cool. I suppose I should have showed you the, or got hold of the original Kenner. But I didn't. I've hardly got any space as it is, so that's just to fit me my neck of figures. Check him out again. Let's close up the detail on the mask. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's just been another little look at one of my new pickups, the Spike Tail Predator. And uh, anyway, guys, that's been a 10 minute ramble, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you soon. See you guys. Bye.